uh, it's just been great. We've got to know each other over the last couple of days. Uh, we're both Canadian. Right, so we had the secret handshake that we're not going to do on film because there's other than Canadians watching. We had some deep, we, we took a deep dive into poutine. Yes. Last night at dinner, I learned some things. There's a big competition that happens out in Quebec every year. Exactly. You're going to walk me through the lineup, telling me a little bit about each prod product yeah and then i really look forward to playing with them and showcasing them once i'm back in my own garage so exactly does that sound like a plan excellent all right so i'm gonna let you take over okay i'll just be your prop man so <laughs> okay very good and you do a wonderful job at it too <laughs> thank you give the guy a like a thumbs up and hit the notification bell because you really need to subscribe to his channel if you haven't done so already and if you have thank you we have our rinseless wash which is a hybrid polymer and yeah so it's a hybrid polymer and surfactant rinseless wash and i know you have this little thing about foaming right i love foam yeah you can put it in your foamer if you like okay yeah so it can be foamed if you so desire it doesn't leave anything on the surface so no it's not going to change your lsp your coatings or whatever it's just going to clean okay nothing more oh wow right yeah, no, no. That is beautiful. Yeah, so when we get to the iron remover, we won't have them smell it. <laughs> uh, this is our incredible suds. Okay. And we named it such because it really does what it's supposed to do. And it suds incredibly. Uh, in your foam cannon, one ounce or 30 milliliters is all you need for the one liter of water to get thick shaving cream suds with a pH of 8.5 that is actually going to cut through dirt. So I can use that in my foam cannon for my foam pre-wash? Yes. And I can also use it in my bucket right. for my contact wash, right. if so, I so desire. Yeah. So your you're five gallons, your 20 liters of water, one cap full is all you need. That is incredible. Yeah. So it's very much concentrated. Yep. Uh, you'll notice it's slightly thick. Yep. Yeah. So, but, and has that beautiful gray And it smell. does smell amazing. Yes. From there, we have our all-purpose cleaner. That stops us dead in our tracks. I'll do some editing because yeah. I don't even think, oh, oh now I blew the, the microphone up. All right, well, yes, we are in an environment where people are shooting all kinds of different exciting content. Right. So we do anticipate a, a few interruptions along the way. I'll do my best to edit those out. You're good at that. <laughs> Let's keep on track. We were so, going to... All clean. Our all-purpose all cleaner. When you buy it in the 16-ounce bottle, it's pre-diluted at 15 to 1, meaning great for exteriors. If you're going to use this, on your interior, you need to dilute it again one-to-one. -one. Uh, great for pre-foaming as well if you have a lot to get off okay. the vehicle. Our iron remover, which like I promised, I'm not going to have you smell, okay. uh, works as well as any other iron remover on the market, if not better. And it also works in conjunction with our perforated synthetic decontamination towel. Oh, okay. We don't call it a clay towel because there's no clay involved. There's no abrasive. Yeah. So this with the iron remover... Oh yeah. Right. So you wash with either your rinseless wash or your incredible suds. While the surface is still wet with those, yep. you don't spray the iron remover on your paint. Because as you know, the iron remover is one of the most expensive chemicals in any line. Okay, so one, my car is dripping wet with incredible suds. Right. Then I apply the iron remover. Not to the car. Not to the car. To the towel. To the towel. One spray on the towel, one spray on the panel. Which side? The uh, the synthetic okay. decontamination side. Okay. One spray on the towel. One spray on the panel where where you were working. Where you're working. Where you sprayed it on the panel is where you deposit the towel, and then you decontaminate from there until you feel it nice and slick, and you don't get that scratchy feeling. Well, that's fun. That's a new take on iron removal. Right, uh, and saving I I like that. Saving time, saving product. You're actually removing the iron particle that is causing the that caused the rust yeah. stain on the white yeah. car. And then you're letting the iron remover just work on the stain, not having to work on that piece of iron because you've taken it away. Of course, water spot remover, sort of an odd name for it. Yes, it will remove water spots, but it's actually removing the minerals that cause the water spots. Okay. Now, we both come from Canada. Yep. We all know that they put this stuff on the road in the winter yep. that yep. isn't really friendly to cars. At the end of the winter, spring comes around, mm -hmm. you get the pressure washer out, you spray it on, the water beads like crazy on the roof and on the hood, on the sides, Nothing. it's flat. Yeah. It's just loaded up with minerals. Spray a bit of this on, 
let it sit for a few minutes, hose it off, all your beading comes back. If you want the ultimate in spring cleaning, which well, I, I do, is, I do. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna first on foam on your yep. incredible suds. Yep. Let it dwell, rinse it away. Rinse it away with the pressure washer, gotcha. Yeah. Foam it on again. While that's still on there, you take your iron remover. Yep. Your iron remover on the cloth, on the panel. Right. Work it in gently. Work, yeah. Don't over. The, the less pressure you use, the happier you yeah. will be. Let the towel and the product do the work. Exactly. Yeah. Rinse that away. Rinse it away with the pressure washer. Add some water spot remover. Spray it on. Let it dwell. Yeah. Yeah, spray it on. Rinse it away and you're done. A mineral remover might be a better term for it. Yeah. But the industry yeah. understands water spot. They I don't gotcha. understand mineral I gotcha. removal. Uh, tree sap remover, uh, deciduous and coniferous. will work on both. Yep. And also great for removing tar. These are three products that you may not use on yeah. a regular basis, yeah. but they're great to have yeah. in your garage in case. Because yeah. the longer a water spot stays on the vehicle, the more dangerous yeah. it is. The longer a tree sap stays yeah. on it, the more dangerous it is, etc. Crystal clear is our glass cleaner. Okay. Some people like glass cleaners, some people don't. I personally, I actually use the rinse and wash as my glass cleaner. Okay. But it is a phenomenal glass cleaner, safe on tint. Okay. Got to remember that. Panel prep, obviously, before coating, you want right. to make sure all the oil from our fingers is off of there, waxes, all that fun stuff. That's right. The protection. We have a couple different products for that. First of all, and actually I'll switch these around just because I can. <laughs> You're quick, the boss. Quick beads. Uh, quick beads, you may have used a product like this before. On a wet panel, you spray it on. You take your pressure washer, <coughs> excuse me, or your garden hose yep. to activate it. Yep and it becomes your drying aid at the same time. So you spray it on, rinse off, Yeah. then dry. Exactly. With a towel. With a or towel or a blower. Okay. Yeah. It contains graphene. Okay, so it's a graphene. Graphene-based ceramic. Would you call it a sealant? It's yeah, it's a ceramic sealant. Gotcha. It's not a ceramic yeah. coating. Yeah. It's gonna it's last yeah. three to 12 months, depending on how you drive, how you maintain, yeah. et cetera. The other thing about this, you'll notice I shook it up and we have foam. Okay. You can apply it with your foam can. That would be a lot of... A lot of product, yeah. yes. But it mixes with... But your car's wet, and now you know it's on there. Right. Is there a certain amount of time I have that you would suggest? 30 seconds to two minutes. Okay. Next, ceramic gloss. And uh, a lot of uh, detailers really love this product. First of all, this is another one that your, your nose will enjoy. Here we go. Waft it in there. I, I, I like the smell, but I'm not good at smell recognition. But let me take a shot at this. What is that? Nice. You can use it as a drying aid. So you could use it like quick beads. Not with the rinse. Okay, uh, so the quick beads goes on and gets rinsed off. Yes. Okay. This is more spray, spray on. Spray your towel or yeah. spray on the panel, wipe it off. That's yep. one way of applying it. Yep. Another way of applying it is actually using a polisher if you want to. Okay. So get a finishing foam pad like the red one there. Okay. And spray it on the pad and with your machine, apply it. And so then, like a good old fashioned machine applied wax, same idea. Interesting. Yeah. Our uh, tire lotion, tire, okay. tire dressing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Depending on how you like your tires, if you like a nice matte black tire, one coat of it. Yeah. If you like a glazed donut, you yeah. know, you're, yeah. you have that hankering for the glazed donut from Tim's, easy to do, put two coats on. Okay. Uh, it dries dry, no sling. Uh, feel silky out actually okay. on the tires. And best best application process, just a foam applicator. I like to use a brush personally. It gives you great control over. Pour it on the brush and just. Oh, well, it comes with a sprayer. So okay, so yeah. spray it onto the brush. Okay. Spray it on the brush okay. and then wrap it around yeah. the tire. You're good. Interior clean and protect. This is a sort of an unsung hero of our line. Okay. It actually does really well at cleaning interiors, but it leaves protection behind. It doesn't leave it glossy. It's not the uh, yeah, you know AA but, look. Yeah. Uh, it and again, sort of a nice, it's got a nice scent, a different scent for an interior yeah. product. It's minty. It's minty and almost like wintry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Which spearmint? Yeah. yeah, yeah. A little goes a long way. It's not going to make it glossy. It's not going to make it okay. shiny. But your interior will feel silky and anti-static. Would you? What about like uh, nav screens? And you things? can do it on really? there as well. Just got to. Yeah. Okay. And what type of? You have a towel that you think works best with it. I like a low nap towel. Yeah. Or uh, especially on leather seats, an applicator like oh, this. Also leather seats as well. Oh the yes. Whole interior. The whole interior. 
except for the carpet. <laughs> Speaking of carpets though, we have our interior ceramic. Everybody has ceramic coatings for the outside. Yep. We have your ceramic coating for the inside. Okay. And again, this goes on carpets, on cloth, on Alcantara, on leather, on vinyl, on plastics, on piano black, on your nav screen, you name it. The, the only place you don't put it on your interior is the interior glass, the interior windows. Okay. You never want anything that will promote beading on your interior windows because it will also promote fogging. Am I cleaning my interior first with this product? Yes. And then adding this afterwards. ceramic protection afterwards. Right. They work in tandem. They work in tandem. Yeah, they don't like, compete against no, each other. And you can also clean with the rinseless wash on the interior, 256 right, to Right, you one. said to di dilute that, you do... You like that too. So there yeah. are options. There are options. But it is in duplications. Yeah. Every one of our bottles has a QR code that leads you to three things. Our website, DIYdetail.com. But it gives you direct access to the SDS sheet and the YouTube channel that has all the oh, instructions good. on good. how to use it. Good, 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 good. When you, Rick puts his video out eventually, yep. uh, it will also be on our channel. So all the influencers that use our products and feature them on their channel we put their videos on our channel oh, as well. Cool. So Thank if you, you go to the uh, if you go to the playlist, let's say for rinseless wash, yep. there's of course videos from us, but there's videos from everyone who's featured a video using rinseless wash. Okay. Yeah. We have our ceramic coatings. Uh, all right. So we have a three year, a five year, and an eight year. Okay. Now, they're all going to last the lifetime of the car, but the characteristics designed into each coating will last different lengths of time. Gotcha. So the base is a polysilazane and silicon carbide base. So SIC and polysilazane. That is the base of all three coatings. That gives you that hard, flexible, yet flexible protection yeah. for your paint that is chemically resistant, does all the great things that we all love from a coating. Gotcha. But we all like different things from a coating. Uh, the three years of graphene coating. Graphene is spectacular at resisting water spotting. Mm -hmm. It's not water spot impervious right but it's great at resisting water spot and the graphene you've seen images everywhere it's sort of like a lattice work that's in there through fracturing from hot and cold you're in calgary that happens once in a while yeah, yeah. You know, every day all yeah, day <laughs> you, have, you have a chinook and then all of a sudden you yeah, have a snowstorm snow uh but you have that fracturing that happens you have love marks from washing now the way you wash your car you're never scratching it but some people actually scratch their cars when they wash it this, the effect of the graphene dissipates after time and lasts about three years. So that's why we say it's a three-year coating. Okay. The chemical protection will be there for a lot longer. But the attribute that we want from the coating is there for about three years. Our five-year is our gloss king. It's gloss. the gloss. You want gloss, we have gloss. Yeah. You want gloss, we have even more gloss. Okay. So... But after five years, you're going to wear that gloss a little bit away. So that's why we say it's a five-year coating. The eight-year, its goal in life is self-cleaning ability. Okay. We want a coating that's easy to clean. So we, the dirt doesn't have a chance to really adhere to the surface. This exactly. Act, acts yeah. as that middle right. resistant layer. Yeah. To so dirt. these two also have SiO2 and SIN, so silicon nitride. There's a lot of science in those bottles. There is, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, coatings have been around for 30 years. Most detailers discovered them about 10 years ago, yeah. but they've been around a lot longer than that. Okay. And the science uh, is very much there. It's present, and it's growing at a very fast rate. And there are some companies that they use, we'll say the word graphene, right? Uh, graphene is, for some people, they say, oh, it's just a marketing buzzword. For other people that have figured out the science, it's like, no, this stuff actually works. So yeah. uh, it's not just marketing science, it is actual science. You know, go for the characteristic that you prefer. Mm -hmm. Do you want gloss? Is that, what is your ultimate goal? Is it self-cleaning gloss or the, uh, the water spot resistance? That is your, that, that's how you should decide between the three. Uh, and like I mentioned, one hour, you can drive it away in the snow. Don't wash it for a week. And that's the applicator for the coatings? For the, yep. for the coatings, and you can also use it for your ceramic gloss, you can also use it for your interior cleaner yeah. and the interior ceramic. Yeah, like already I'm starting to forget some of the stuff you said, but I, yeah. I do know that I can go on the back and you've got it all QR laid code. out for me yeah. with the QR code. 
And there's actually written instructions too for yeah. there's people that still read those. We for, we glazed over yeah, this. Yeah, we didn't we didn't so talk about this. This is the legacy sponge. And I'm not the one that came up with the name. Uh, Nick is the one that came up with the name, my business partner. Yeah. Because I have a legacy in designing sponges. Uh, if you have a good quality wash sponge for your rinseless wash, there's a good chance I'm the one who designed it. There you go. So there was, used to be a big red one. Yeah. There's a, a ultra black. Yeah. So anyways, this is sort of a combination yeah. of everything. Yes. The foam is designed specifically to work with a rinseless wash, but incredibly, it works with incredible suds too. Now, finally, we have the gold standard system. And not everyone at home is polishing paint. But when we polish, we want to design a very, very simple system for polishing paint. We'll start with this. The gold standard waffle pad. Now, the gold standard waffle pad is an all-use pad. It can be used on a rotary. It can be used on a dual action. It's a cutting pad. It's a finishing pad all in one. That's the versatile pad. That's the, if you only have one pad Work in course. your life, this is the one you need. Okay. The polish, you'll notice there's a sprayer on Yep. Normally, you're, when you're polishing, you're putting three or four dime-sized drops, okay? Oh, yeah. Which is about that. Okay. Right, you're three or four of those. So that's the total of my three or four right there? Or no, am I but putting like if three you're, of those? If oh, you're I see. Squeeze, you don't want to use up all your product. I got you. No, no, no. <laughs> but if you're taking a squeeze bottle, you're yeah. doing three or four of those. Yeah. That's one pull of this trigger. Yeah. We're telling people... So that's enough? Don't use that much. Not even that much. Only use this much. So now... I have product dispersed over the whole pad. It's safe. I'm not dry buffing anywhere. Yeah. And this is all I need. So this is equivalent to other people's, you know, two liters of polish. Yeah. This will give you as much polishing as that. Any correction uh, ability? Correction ability? Yeah. With this pad, so this yeah. is a wool cutting pad designed yeah. for the dual action, not okay. designed for the rotary. With this and this pad, uh, you can cut 600 grit sanding marks. No pressure on the machine, speed three, just yeah. a little bit of backing plate rotation. You're going to get phenomenal cut with this without breaking through the paint, without yeah. taking too much off. Then for finishing, use this on the same machine. Again, one spray of polish. This uh, is a pad I've designed specifically for finishing with the rotary. Okay. Can I use a DA? You can. I can. But this it's will, more of a specialized rotary This pad. will actually give you a better finish on a DA than this. I gotcha. A soft foam on a DA actually doesn't finish well. Oh, okay. Because you're, you get more micro marring. So, a mm -hmm. little scientific explanation here. Take your DA. We eliminate the rotation aspect of it. We just look at the oscillation part of it. Okay. So, if you have a 21 millimeter stroke DA, your backing plate and your pad are going to the right. Now, all of a sudden, the backing plate says, no, 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 I'm going this way. It's going to the left. This foam has a bit of elasticity to it. It has inertia. It's still going to the right, even though your backing plate is going to the left. Yeah. All of a sudden, it reaches its limit of elasticity and snaps back. When it snaps back, that's when you're getting that micro-marring a DA right. causes. Right. And that's why I finished with the rotary because you have no micro mark. Imagine catching that on a slow mo camera. That would be yes. so cool, that snap back. Right. Because it takes a second for that inertia to get going in the other exactly. direction. Yeah. This, as you can tell, is a much stiffer foam. Yeah. So you're going to get less of that l yeah. less of that elasticity, less of that inertia, better finish with the DA. So better for the DA. This cut, one cut is designed for the specifically for the rotary. I do anticipate getting to know this brand a lot. And this is available through our friends at uh, TOC. TOC. And Carzilla. And Carzilla. And for those in Quebec, Wax It. In Quebec, Wax It. Well, For American uh, buyers, it's available on every corner. No. No, not quite. No. Car Supplies Warehouse. Car Supplies Warehouse. DIY Detail. I thank you so much. Thank Ivan. you, Rick. I, I look forward. We've got two more days. Yes. To have a good time. I can bring it in here. Oh, yeah. Bring it in here. All right, thanks everybody. Thank you. Uh, DIY detail. So stay rad, everyone.